Good afternoon, this is the old man Jim here. I'm gonna come to you with a little maintenance video for my bike. This is part of the series I'm gonna do on my little trip. I was gonna do it off of my computer, but well, the, lap, the my laptop that I use in the garage, but it is not working very well, <laughs> at least the camera isn't. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to prop up this uh, camera on my, well, my cell phone. And I'm probably just gonna use my mounting devices suction cup mount it to a table or something so that you can see what's going on but this is just a prep it's going to give you a few tips when you start basically i'm going to do an oil change and coolant change final drive oil replace one panel on my 1993 honda goldwing uh, excuse me i'm going to show you a couple other things some things that are very important to do. One, wear clothes you don't give a crap about. This got this is a nice Duluth Trading Company shirt, twenty something dollars a piece, and I got cock on it. And it, it this stuff does not come out. Don't get it on your shirt. It will not come out off your clothes. Second, very notice you wear them. You notice I'm wearing a watch. You're working on a vehicle. Take any any and all jewelry off. O F F off. A uh, frosty beverage is always a good idea, especially when it's hot. Beverage of choice for today, Fresca. Yes, they still make it. A manual. In this case, here's the climber manual for the 19... It says 1993 to 2000. You have to be specific that your year vehicle will f is covered. Because there are always changes. As you can see here... Lay out your tools. To remove and replace, I have a good old Craftsman seven, you know, 17 millimeter socket with a short extension. I don't really need the extension on it, but always a good idea. Why? Prevents busting your knuckles. Always use an extension, it's gonna bust your knuckles. Next tool, we call it the breaker bar. It doesn't, it doesn't ratchet, it just, the sw head swivels a little bit. All I use these for, breaking them loose. Because you can break your socket if you if you try to remove something that's really stuck with it. Craftsman 3 8 inch ratchet, which I almost dropped. I've had this for years. This part is actually broken. Sears fixed it. They didn't give me a new one. But frankly, if you fix it, I don't care. Oops, one other thing I forgot. One other thing that's very important, especially when on a vehicle, especially... Oh, by the way, here's my half-inch breaker bar. I'm not asking you to come loose. I'm telling you to come loose. Put it on the table here. Very important. Torque wrench. Craftsman 3 8 inch torque wrench, micro torque. Very adjustable. Nanometers or inches. So just all you really got to do, in this case you can't, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the foot pound section. Newton meter section. That's why I have the manual out. So that you can, you look, always torque. Especially your oil bolts. You strip those. Usually those are steel going into aluminum these days that's also why you break the manual out but in this case this is not from Honda it's from climber so I will look it up differently as well I mostly have the manual there in case there's anything I forget also very important is the fluid but first you do need a filter my filter of choice k and performance part of it is this little 17 millimeter nut on the back. It's not for putting it on. It's for taking it off only. For putting it on, hand tight. And there's one other tool that I forgot. Just a good old oil filter wrench. Just the old school strap, steel strap. Just a, you just put a smidge past hand tight. That's all it is. A smidge past hand tight. 
The oil itself is very important. My oil of choice right now, I have four quarts. Mobile One, full synthetic, high mileage. It says protection for engines with over 75,000 miles. This has approximately 78,000. Very low mileage for a 1993. Now, I have them all in a bag. I'll put the bag on the correct side. Now, I do have, which I'm kind of looking for right now. Uh, I'll look for it in a minute once I end the video because I have no idea where I put it. Is I have an extra oil drain. I hope that wasn't important or expensive. See, these are the extra crush washers. What a crush washer is, is it goes in place. You don't use an O-ring. It goes in between the bolt and the vehicle. 30 cents a piece. Replace them every time. I have more coming because I only have two crush washers. And for the oil drain and the final drive oil, I'm going to use both of them. And the reason I have an extra bolt is just in case. If I round off the head, I'm not going to be able to get it back off. Or I might not be able to get it on. But as I said, I'm going to figure out a way to mount my phone to something I can roll around, preferably. I don't, have, I don't think I have a clamp mount. No, I don't. Because I had something I could roll around that would hold the phone. Really, they would be, make like a really cool stand, and unfortunately, I don't have a tripod that would work either. But I'll figure it out. I'll, if I got to suction cup it to a table or something, you know, so that I can do this, I'll do it. So I'm going to go through the steps. The coolant is going to involve a lot of disassembly. Same with the air filter. The air filter location on this vehicle. Under here, I got to take the radio off to get to the air box, which means I got to take this, these off, this off, this off. I got to take the seat off, which is an unholy pain in the butt. Getting it back on is going to be even worse. Getting it off is not the problem. It's getting it back on that's the pain. It usually involves a ton of cursing, which, so I'm not going to do a seat removal video. I'll do, I'll do the removal, but I'm not going to record putting it back on. But, this, you know, this because since I'm going to be putting about 600 miles on this bike in a couple, you know, two or three days, in a two or three day period, I'm going to do what I can to make sure it's in the best shape. As you can see, I have a ram mount here. That's going to be for my GPS, which is, not that, which is this. It's just a standard Garmin Nuvi. I'd rather have the motorcycle specific Zumo, but... I don't have the money. Five, six hundred bucks. I can't see it as well, but the mounting position I'm choosing is in a better spot. I need to go get some screws because I used them for the that base. But I'm going to use the Garmin because my cell phone is going to be connected to this, which is a Scalar Rider G4. It's old. I've had it for years. But it still connects to my phone. It's just so that my phone, I can hear up here, and, you know, I can take and receive phone calls. I'm not going to use it for my music. I'm going to use an old uh, iPhone. So i got to record some music onto that. i got to get iTunes on there. I've got other parts coming. So, and I'm going to... i got my helmet pretty much disassembled. Because I'm going to remount... I have a clamp mount for my... For my communication system. And I'm going to put a new, a new mount on there. Oh, other thing, gloves, always important when you're doing work. I have an oil catch pan that will slide underneath this, uh, this gold wing. So just be careful. And I'll make another, like I said, I'm going to come right back with another vid once I figure out how to mount the system. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.